Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom in the Bake Brigade. Hope everybody's had a good Thursday. <laughs> well, I woke up today consumed by an idea that I had to do. I had to do it. The raglan style sweater. I hadn't touched anything else but this idea. Oh, and earrings of the day. My, my watermelon diamond painted earrings, courtesy of Marsha. Thank you. <laughs> I just figured they would be fun to wear. I found them. Of course, they were within my within my reach here. I just had to look. Anyway, so today I um, I watched some tutorials, uh, some that I had already had saved and looked at before, and so I just kind of picked and and picked through a few tutorials and then kind of said, eh. <laughs> Did what I always do and just winged it. <laughs> now, let me show you the yarn I'm using. Um, these are the two yarns I've chosen. And yeah, no, no surprise. They're Hobby Lobby yarns, right? There's this. I love this yarn in a solid color. This color is called Sun Gold. Okay. And then this other color is uh, I love this yarn, Print. And this color is called Amber Honey. Aren't those pretty? Well, I've had this Amber Honey. Look, look at that. That just, mm, I've had it a while. And, and it's been calling my name every time I go back there and look at my totes that it's, that it's in. And, and it just call, it calls my name. It says, make me a top. Make me a sweater. Because it goes with my hair. <laughs> All right, <laughs> and it has all the colors that I love. It has, I really like that gold color. It's so pretty, and uh, and some some orange and some blue. And the only thing it didn't doesn't have is red, which is my second favorite color of all time is red, and that's the only thing it didn't have is red. But that's okay. I'll make a red one at some point too. But. Um, this is what we got so far. I'm using the gold for the, the collar part. So this is what I started out with. Uh, I did a chain of a starting stitch count of 80. And then I divided divided it into 20, 20 stitches per. And then did the, the little, little thing here. And this is half doubles it, with a 5.5 millimeter hook. Um, and... Angie, thank you so much for these dots hook, dot dots hooks. If I can talk right, it's late, y'all. But yes, I'm I'm using all of them. Um, but it's working. It's working out all right. Um, I am do using a half double, and then I'm doing a half double V stitch here. I, I started with just one chain and one for the V stitch, and then I graduated to chain and two. I, it's it's going slower than I like so I think I'm fixing to switch to double crochets um, just to give me just to go a little quicker because this was more, more or less uh, yes I wanted a sweater out of the out of this yarn but I also wanted to see if I could pull one off in this style um, so that I could do Johnny's you know do one for in Johnny's yarn because Johnny's decided he wants his uh, and yes I'm wearing the same shirt from last night shoot me report me to the i don't know the fashion police <laughs> they can write me a ticket for wearing the same shirt i wore yesterday mm, for shame i didn't leave the house but anyway um <laughs> write me a ticket <laughs> i don't care <laughs> this is what i've been working on all day because i was i i'm you know i even phoned a friend, uh, text a friend, Amy, asked her, you know, about the, the little thing, the little stitches, you know, should I do a, just, you know, two stitches in, in a stitch for the increases, or should I do a V stitch, or, and she said, you could do either one, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do the V stitch, because that's what I'm comfortable doing, and I think that would look nice, and so far, it does look nice, so, um, yeah, so far, that works out pretty good. And it, it looks all right so far, I think. Uh, it's curling, which, you know, 
It might have something to do with my tension. I don't know. But uh, I probably should have did it with a six millimeter. But I wanted it to the stitches to be you know so, more solid. So I went with the recommended hook uh, size that's on the yarn, which is 5.5. So um, and I'm almost done with this. Uh, yeah, see, this is what I got left out of that skein. So, but I have a whole bunch of that yarn. I had, I think I, it, I think I have like eight to ten skeins of it. So, no worries. I could probably make myself a dress if I wanted to. <laughs> I might even throw some puff stitches at some point in here. I don't know. Because, um, I don't know. Probably not. Not in this one. Maybe the next one. <laughs> And I, if I was going to throw puff stitches in here, I probably would have done it by now. And I would have done it un, in this area somewhere, you know, not, not in the modest, modesty area, you know, because we're starting to get into the modesty area here. And, um, you know, I'm not fixed. Because I, I, I wanted to wear this without a, a shirt underneath it, ideally. That's why I, you know, went with the stitches and, and the tight, you know, the look that I'm going with. So, I'm, I'm just going to play with stitches going forward to see. I don't know if I'm going to keep going with the half double or switch to just a regular double and see how that looks. But I didn't want it to be super gappy because I wanted to be able to just wear the, the, the top or sweater, whatever you want to call it. Because I will be putting sleeves on it, but I don't know if it'll be short sleeves or long sleeves. I don't know. I don't know. I'm winging it, as I say. So, I'm just flying by the seat of my pants like I usually do. And it most of the time works out. And if in the ones that don't work out, y'all don't see. <laughs> no, I sometimes show y'all the, the ones, the epic fails. There was an epic fail. Was it last year? Yeah, it might have been last year. Or the year before. I can't remember. But it was epic. <laughs> it was it was bad. And then to scrap that thing all together. But um yeah but that, i don't think this is going to be a failure i think this is this is this this yarn is working up so pretty i love how how it works up that is just so pretty to me and i didn't know that it would stripe like that that it would just um uh, you know that 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 would end up striping like that and see that's what it looks like on the back very similar so you know yeah and i mean uh Let's see if I can get it properly because my seam is right here. There is my little seam, if it as it were. But it's not it's not it's not ter it's it's not gonna be terrible. So I don't think it'll be terrible. See it's it's well you can notice it up here, but back here it's not so bad. It's not that bad. I mean it's a handmade sweater. Of course it's gonna have a seam. Hmm. But, you know, as I go, as it goes further down, you can't, you can't really, it's not really that noticeable as I go down. It's just that beginning part that looks a little rough, but I'm not worried. <laughs> I don't live my life for other people. I live my life for myself. So there you have it. Um, I think it'll be pretty, pretty cool looking. I'm just trying to get the little points lined up because it they do they do line up you know the little points that i've got going so far but yeah it lines up so 80 stench count because my neck is no longer i'm not carrying three chins around anymore so <laughs> i don't need a hundred anymore my shoulders aren't as big as they once were so i didn't need a hundred stitch count 80 worked just fine <laughs> And this goes over my head just fine. I tried it. It works just fine. So, um, it, it, I know it looks so small. <laughs> it does. It looks small. But it stretches right over my head. No problem whatsoever. But, um, yeah. I'm, I'm just I'm a little excited over this. So, um, you know. We'll just have to wait. And then, of course, Johnny's uh, sweater is going, is going to be in the... Um, bulky number five um five weight yarn so i would be probably using an eight or a nine millimeter hook so this just will be a bit different on his 
and I'll probably be using a half double or a um, or a double crochet with his as well. I'm not going to make it terribly complicated, but I'm going to do it in this style. I'm, I'm feeling more comfortable as I go with this, and we'll see where I'm at when I get to the point of um, separating for the uh, sleeves, and then get it going. Uh, you know, when I when I get the sleeves, you know connected and everything and then just working the round to finish the length on it i'll feel better because i have no problems connecting yarn and then finishing sleeves i've done that many times with other tops and stuff uh it's it's the getting to the part where i you know connect these little the little sides and then you know it it's it's just uh, something new and i'm gonna i'm gonna figure it out but um, I'm figuring that out as I go, and I will I will get there. But this is a really good start, and I feel I think I did try to do one of these before, and it looked it didn't look like this. It didn't look this good. <laughs> the trick to me was getting the the starting chain straight, and so what I did is when I ch I chained eighty. And then I went ahead and did my single crochet into each, you know, stitch. And then I connected, slip stitched it together. Mm -hmm. And then I used my tail and kind of snugged it up, you know, to where it was good together. And then I did another, I think I did, yeah, another two rows of a uh, single crochet. And that's how I got my neck. So, mm, my, my collar area. So yeah, that's three rows of single crochet. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that looks just fine for a, for a collar. You know, I'm not, it's, it's very informal. And uh, I wasn't trying to make something super duper or, you know, to sail. It's just uh, me, me trying to feel my way through this, this style of sweater. And if it turns out to look very nice, I'm very happy that it does. So, um, and then something very exciting came in the mail today, all the way from Scotland. I got a happy meal from Scotland, y'all. And I, I, I went outside because the dogs, uh, the neighborhood dogs kind of alert us. <laughs> Me anyway, when I'm sitting back here in the back of the house, I sit, my bedroom is at the back of the house and uh the neighbor there's dogs in neighboring um yards that way and then there's dogs in this yard over here and so when the mail runs those dogs let me know <laughs> and so i was sitting here and the dogs are going rah, 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 rah. i said oh okay there's mail and so when i went outside there was a package well i have informed delivery from the u.s postal service so this had to have come from a different carrier because this was not on the list of things that I was expecting uh, from the Postal Service. And then when I looked at it, um, it said from Scotland. <laughs> now I knew, I knew that, uh, that she was sending me something. Um, why does it say Elizabeth? She goes, I believe Betty. What does she sign it in here? Yeah, Betty. Okay. And William. Oh, hubby. Okay. Isn't that interesting? My son is named William and her hubby's name is William. That's cool. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. I knew she had sent me a package. I just didn't know. I had not had any way of tracking it. And I don't think she had any way of tracking it. But um, it came with a birthday card. Isn't that cute? And I'll read it to you what it says. And and keep in mind, it's, it's in Scottish lingo. So it's different, you know. Uh, it says, Ox, it, it's your birthday. <laughs> the clock, old time, is ticking. And the years are rolling by. They're going ever faster. It will make ye want to cry. <laughs> I wish I could say it in an, in an accent, but no. This this country bunkin' accent is not going anywhere. It says, but age is just a number, and, you, and you're in your prime, ne, ne doot. So see 
that stupid clock old time just take the batteries out <laughs> just take the batteries out of the clock she writes me a sweet little note in here and then a sweet little letter here uh, she's basically been with me since I started my channel and uh, and I really really appreciate that this it, it, it just cracked me up take the batteries out of the clock the the H clock <laughs> but she included some uh, fantastic some very thoughtful um, things um, or, uh, of course, she included some yarn. You know, she she sent yarn, and I, I I mean, of course, I've seen chenille yarn before, but never like that. Never this yarn. Uh, this is super chunky, huggable. Um, look, this is uh, James C. Brett. I've heard I've heard the name James C. Brett before. No, that's a UK brand. And um, but this is uh, let's see here if it says how many yards. Is uh, 109 yards, 100% polyester. This is a baby blue color. And there's two of these. And so it's oh, so soft. I'm not sure exactly what I'll make with this. But I will figure something out. Because uh, it's special. It might take me a while to want to use it. Because it's special. But I will figure it out. But I got two of these. And um, and then she sent me the cutest, cutest thing I've ever seen. Well, one of the cutest things I've ever seen. And it came in this very cute little plastic bag. That's a Highland cow, in case you didn't know. <laughs> Highland cow. From the Highlands of Scotland. Duh. Just like, you know, Connor and Duncan McLeod. <laughs> and it, it contained this little guy here. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? And it smells good. But I don't know if it's going to come across on camera, but no, it doesn't. It, but it has, the its fur has this little shimmer to it. Very special. And it, of course, it has its own little scarf here. How cute is that? I love this. I told the girls, uh, the girls meaning Amy and Eva. If y'all ever hear me say that, the girls, Amy and Eva. Uh, that This, this, this uh, cow's name is McLeod. <laughs> yeah <laughs> i name all my little babies all, all the ones that i get is is gifts they all have names this one has a name his name is mcleod <laughs> and then she included the most another gorgeous thing that when i opened it and started touching it i was like holy cow because it's so gorgeous and i she had to have been watching my channel for a while to know that red is right up there with turquoise for me. And I don't know if she knew that I also love pearls. So, <laughs> so this is a double whammy. <laughs> and it, and it feels like, uh, I don't know, like the most softest scarf that you ever could think to put against your skin. Maybe I'll, I don't know, maybe alpaca or I don't know, but it, it's woven. It's not, it's not knitted. It's, it's the, you know, where they have the, the big loom where they wet, weave every, every fiber, you know, they, they weave it through and then they, you know, shush it in, you know, that's how this was made. You can, I, I've watched videos on them making stuff like this. That's how this was made. This was, you know, one of those kind of things. And then they got this gorgeous fringe down here. Look at that. I'm not usually big on fringe, but yes, this is gorgeous. And it's orange and red. And it's, oh my goodness, it's everything. Everything. And it's gorgeous. It's so beautiful. Look at the tree. Oh my goodness. And those pearls. Oh man. It's just so pretty. It's big enough to be a shawl, but it's a scarf. But, oh wow. It's so pretty. 
See, now I have to make me a red sweater to go with this. It's It has to be. I don't know. Yeah, I got to make something to go with this. Because, well, this and that beautiful uh, scarf that um, Amy made me and sent me last year. Mm. I'm hoping we get enough, we get a cold enough day to, to wear something like this. I was looking at this little tag that's on it to see if it actually says what it's made of. It just says keep away from fire. Duh. But it doesn't tell you, oh, my bad, poly, 100% polyester. Okay. Well, you could have fooled me. <laughs> Could have fooled me. It feels like fine fibers to me. I've been working with that cashmerino, and and, and it, it's as far as texture, it, it's right up right up there on cue with that. Oh man, it's just heavenly, and I just love it so much. Thank you so much, Betty. I really love my things from Scotland, and it has this little. It has a little. I'm sure that that is the. E yeah, that's equilibrium, because that's what's on the box. It says equilibrium. Yep. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I, I love it. The colors are me. Totally me. It goes with my hair. <laughs> but that tree and these colors, I tell you, so pretty. It's, it's perfect for the, the, the time of year it is here, too, because... We do get changing changing uh, leaves on our trees. We got trees that turn these colors here. We really do. We really do. I can't wait for a day where I can actually wear some of these things that I make. You know, I had that. I have a sweater that I made myself last year that in turquoises and blues. Um, it's it's a bit too big for me now, but <laughs> I probably still will wear it. I'll probably wear it around the house. Um, like a robe. <laughs> and yes, I'm putting this back in the box. I'm protecting it from dust. Because this is a very dusty house. So I'm protecting it from dust. But, um, I'm just, I was just so beside myself about these spe very special gifts. Every gift I've gotten for my birthday has been extremely special. And uh, I'm... I'm forever grateful to everyone who sent me anything for my birthday. Um, y'all, the reason why I get up here and do these, get in front of this camera and do these videos, and, and y'all don't have to send me things. That, that's not that's not expected. Just watching the videos all the way through is a huge help. So just remember that. That those of you that can't afford to send anything, just know that even you just watching the videos all the way to the end helps us tremendously and clicking the like button helps uh if you hadn't subscribed subscriptions are free so you know subscribing helps um of course i do have channel memberships and they start at 99 cents so that's a, you know that's that's a thing uh but i don't expect folks to run and do that um that does help me financially but you know it's not something that i expect anybody to be able to do uh that this economy and the way things are right now we're all doing just the best we can and um so please don't think that i ever expect y'all to send me anything um but those of you that that have please know that i i am very grateful for every little thing i really am my bling <laughs> i don't take any of this for granted i really don't because i know that something could happen and i could be unable to do this channel any day and it could just be taken from me and so i try to cherish it every day um and every comment every supportive comment means everything to me and i hope y'all know that i really hope y'all know that and um all the love y'all have shown to me either for your comments or what however what however y'all show it i appreciate it and uh well that's about all i got for y'all tonight i'll uh venture out tomorrow for another crochet in the wild city <laughs> i don't know where i'll end up but uh there might be a starbucks in my hand tomorrow <laughs> i did go through and uh my my uh 
beautiful backpack and um set up my uh project that's in there i i, I crocheted the other i got the other half of the um the card cardigan that i've started and that and, and and so i got some some things to talk about with that and uh so I did get things uh, progressed a little further with the project that's in that bag so that I can talk about that. And um, yeah, but definitely I'll probably have a Starbucks with me tomorrow. <laughs> Don't know where I'll end up. I'll just look up parks and then make, you know, do like this. <laughs> because we're, we're, we're surrounded by parks here in Shreveport, so... There's lots of parks to go to. I just like to go during the day when people are in school and work, where it's kind of where I have a spot to myself and not have to worry about, you know, interrupting anyone else in their time and, ha and, and not worry about them interrupting me and my time. Now, there is a bo boat launch uh, spot down um, on the parkway, on what we call the Clyde Fant Parkway on the Bossier side. I might go down there. Uh, that's closer to the river. Um, but I don't know. There's, it's, the scenery is not really appealing there. <laughs> it just might be secluded. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it is near a walking trail. So, um, that might be just something for me to do with Theo when I take Theo for a walk. But, um, I've been meaning to, um, get him out and about and take him for a walk. Um, the old boy needs to, uh, stre stretch his legs you know but um i hope y'all have a good night uh, thank you so much for coming and spending your time with me i love y'all so much and so does jesus and of course remember to adopt don't shop your best friend could be waiting on you at the shelter or the rescue and i will see y'all later bye